Welcome back to Top 5 Minutes, where we delve into the most compelling and often chilling stories from the annals of history. Today, we're embarking on an exploration of love stories that took a dark and tragic turn, ending in the unthinkable, murder. These tales remind us that sometimes, love can lead people down the darkest of paths. So, grab your detective hat and a cozy seat, because we're about to unravel the mysteries behind the top five love stories that ended in murder. Let's dive in. Number five. Thomas Montgomery, a 47-year-old married man, pretended to be a teenage Iraq war vet named Tommy in an online chat room where he met Talhot Blonde, Jesse, an 18-year-old. Jesse sent explicit photos, and Montgomery bragged to friends until his wife discovered the affair. She revealed his true identity to Jesse. Jesse ended their relationship and started seeing Montgomery's co-worker, Brian Barrett. This change angered Montgomery, who sent threatening messages and decided to kill Brian. He shot Barrett on September 15, 2006, as he sat in his car, using a rifle. Police, learning of the love triangle, tried to warn Jesse, but found Mary Sheeler at her home instead. Sheeler, Jesse's mother, was leading a double life, romancing both men while posing as her daughter. Montgomery was sentenced to 20 years after pleading guilty. Sheeler faced no charges, but her husband and daughter left her. The story reveals the dangerous consequences of online deception and the tragic outcome of a twisted love triangle. Number 4. Stephen Beard, a 69-year-old millionaire from Austin, Texas, met Celeste Johnson, a 32-year-old waitress at his country club. Despite an age gap and Celeste's troubled history, they married in 1995. Their marriage quickly deteriorated as Celeste drugged Beard's food to spend time with her ex-husbands, insulted him, and spent his money recklessly. An altercation resulted in Celeste being hospitalized, where she met Tracy Tarleton, a 35-year-old struggling with addiction and infatuated with Celeste. Celeste and Tracy began a relationship, even after leaving the hospital, leading to Celeste's daughters catching them together. However, Celeste had a sinister plan involving Tracy, Stephen Beard, and a shotgun. On October 2, 1999, Celeste left her doors unlocked, allowing Tracy to enter with a 20-gauge shotgun. Tracy shot Beard while he slept, and he managed to call 911 before succumbing to his injuries. Investigators linked a shotgun shell to Tracy's weapon, charging her with murder. Suspicion fell on Celeste, who spent lavishly after Beard's death. Tracy initially protected her lover, but eventually revealed Celeste's role after learning she had remarried. With the testimony of her children, Celeste was imprisoned, eligible for parole in 2043. Tracy was released in August 2011, hopefully avoiding further violence. This tragic tale highlights a deadly love triangle and the consequences of deception and betrayal abandoned his rebellious persona and became an insurance salesman, cutting off his wild hair. Her discontent grew when Greg confessed to cheating on her weeks before their first anniversary. In a fit of rage, Pamela manipulated her 15-year-old student lover, Billy Flynn, into murdering her husband. Flynn was a student at Winnicunnet High School in Hampton, New Hampshire, where Smart was the media services director. Smart had Flynn under her control, and after several rendezvous, she gave him an ultimatum. Eliminate Greg, or their relationship would end. Flynn agreed, and with Smart's guidance, he and two accomplices killed Greg. However, Smart's plan unraveled quickly, and she was charged with murder and sentenced to life without parole. The teenagers received sentences of 28 years to life. Number 2 Els Klotmans and Els Van Doren shared more than just a name. They also shared a romantic relationship with their skydiving instructor, Marcel Summers. The arrangement was fraught with tension, as Klotmans spent Fridays with Summers while Van Doren had Saturdays. Klotmans struggled with her self-esteem due to feeling like the second choice in the relationship. Her mental health was also a concern, as she had a history of suicide attempts and was later diagnosed as psychopathic and narcissistic. In November 2006, 
Van Doren died during a skydiving trip with Klotmans and Summers. Klotmans was later convicted of murder and sentenced to 30 years in prison, despite a lack of concrete evidence. Number 1. Clara Harris and her spouse, David, were both dentists in Houston and appeared to be contentedly married. They had three children, a pleasant home, and a few luxurious cars, including Clara's Mercedes. However, their seemingly perfect life was shattered when David confessed to having an affair with his former receptionist. In an attempt to win him back, Clara tried various methods, including quitting her job, working out, and undergoing breast enhancement surgery. When these efforts failed, she hired a private investigator to follow the couple. On July 24, 2002, Clara attacked her rival in the Nassau Bay Hilton in Houston, where she and David had tied the knot. Clara was sentenced to 20 years in prison for her husband's murder, and she was denied parole in 2013. She will have another opportunity for release in 2014.